All right, this is the Lucid Brake light brake light. It's in what they call racing mode. In other words, there's no lights showing until you stop suddenly. And that was the very sudden stop where the lights flash. If you simply just kind of, you know, gently stop, they come on solid. Uh, it's good mode. It, uh, it's probably easy on the batteries because most of the time nothing's showing. Here's a uh, mode that leaves the lights on dimly, full time, solidly. Uh, apparently this meets some European uh, requirements. Again, the brake lights still work somehow. very difficult to get them to work without actually being on a bike and stopping. That's the simplest flashing mode, one of the two they have. Simply uh, cycles the lights around the periphery of the uh, light and still provides the braking. That's the other braking mode. And then there's a flashing mode that flashes for a second, hits all the lights once in a random sort of pattern, and then it's off for a short period of time and then resumes flashing. Pretty eye catching, should be a good nighttime mode. And still, still features the brake, there it goes. That's it. Four modes depending on the orientation of the light. Back to race mode, European mode, single blinking, and the crazy blinking. Uh, it goes dead if you leave it sitting still for a certain length of time. I don't know what the time is, maybe one or two minutes. It also turns off immediately if you lay it flat, either on its back or upside down. Uh, it shuts itself off. It then takes uh, some time for it to revive, a minute or so. It's an interesting light. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It uses uh, Scotch uh, high-powered uh, locking stuff, I forget what it's called, uh, uh, but very strong dual lock. That's a, there's some, they give you some extras. Uh, the piece on the back of the light is very firmly attached. This piece that I've been playing with, I'm afraid I've lost all the stickum from, so I don't trust it. But I've got two more, uh, two more fresh pieces. You can buy this in any hardware store. Uh, in fact, I think it comes in comes in one inch squares like this, or at least uh, at least two inch squares you can cut in half. Uh, I've used it before. It's good stuff. And so far, that's my only only hesitation on it is it's sometimes hard finding a f flat place to stick the the dual lock piece on a bike. I, they say you can stick it on a seat post. I'm not using a regular bike so I don't have a seat post. Uh, but you know any frame tubing or something would be curved. I don't know how well I want it stuck on a curve. You know, you can, it'll stick, but will it stick the way you want it to? You know, will it stay, stay put or will it ro roll up? haven't found that out yet. Like I say, I haven't found a place where I like it yet on a bike. Uh, I've got a recumbent trike and a recumbent uh, long wheelbase bike. haven't found a suitable place on either of them yet. I think I'm going to put it on the back of my helmet. So uh, that'll do it. Anyway, that's the Lucid Brake uh, Bicycle Brake Light. 
which is uh, they've been developing for five years. It's finally come out. It's finally available. Uh, I got a I signed up in advance for this. Got a re, you know introductory price on it, and it just came this past weekend. So uh, there you are. Look for them. They're on online somewhere. Uh, about eighty ninety dollars. Maybe they'll come down as they go into mass production or something. But it's a very interesting uh, concept for uh, bicycle safety.